and what was so intriguing to me about exploring the 19th century for this book was just looking at the amazing velocity and volume of the changes that came about in this century. We're always lamenting today, oh, the speed of change, this and that. You look at the 19th century and you think, oh my goodness, how did people even begin to wrap their minds around this period of time when, as you say, you went from a person walking or riding a horse to steamboats, to railroads, to by very early in the 20th century, just right over the lip of the, of the end of the 19th century, aircraft flight. Um, it's, it's just phenomenal to even contemplate. And I think the changes that it brought about in people's mindset too, the changes it brought about culturally are also significant. One of the points I make in the book is that you can look at a Gatling gun, which in many ways prefigured the mass culture that we know today as a, another way of thinking about the world, not just an armament, but another way of looking at the 19th century and those changes when you went from an individual world, an artisan-made world, a one-in-a-kind world, through the advent of interchangeable parts and industrial capacity to what we think of today as this great mass culture, mass world. I mean, we throw around terms like mass media all the time, but these were revolutionary concepts, just yeah. as you suggest. Yeah. The world changed completely. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.